Hello everybody, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be making, it's the last video of 2020. This is my end of year video. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering, you made one for 2018, you didn't make one for 2019, but you're making one for this year. So, I'll come, well, I'll compensate for that and put 2019 in together with this video. And here, I have a piece of paper like I did in the 2018 video, with everything on it. Obviously, you can't remember what happens in the space of two years, can you? So, let's not waste any time, let's get started. So, let's go to the 30th of January 2019, I uploaded a video explaining everything I liked and didn't like about the Ford Mondeo. Uh, it was pretty, it's a pretty good video. I uh, basically just told you everything, well, as the title suggests, everything I liked and didn't like about that car. Obviously, there was most things I liked about it. I did like the air con and I liked um, lots of other things. But another thing that made that car better happened in the next video I uploaded, which was on the 13th of February 2019. It was retrieving the seats for the Mondeo. So on board seats, the little series I did, didn't even realise it was going to be a series, but it ended up being one. Uh, so yeah, we got episode one where we went out and got the seats um, Then I uh, ended up on the 20th of February 2020 Not 2020 sorry 2019 I uh, Got the seats fitted to the car Then finally the third episode went up on the 27th of February 2019 and I basically Give a bit of treatment, you know uh, Some finishing touches and give them some better treatment and uh, little things like that. Now let's uh, also now fast forward to the 2nd of March 2019. Where we upgraded the sound system in the Mondeo. Basically we upgraded this audio from the... I think they call it a 6000 CD thing in a Ford. To the Sony 6 CD changer. And it did make a difference. Uh, I could be making another style video like that. Involving another Ford with a Sony audio. Uh, but that video, well, I'll have to wait for it. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, keep going. The 17th of April, 20, 2019, I uploaded a video where I explained everything that happened with uh, Tom Ford, what we've done to it so far. So I explained the window the window, wind deflectors, the, uh, the Sony audio, the seats, uh, and other little things that have been done to the car since we've owned it. Uh, and then we, I made a video called Tom Ford is Ready to Go. But basically, it was sort of a little follow-up to... Well, not a follow-up, you know, like... No, let me reword that. I explained what was going to happen in the next video. So, the next video, which was uploaded on the 18th of April 2019, was the trip to Scotland, where, well, as the title suggests, we went to Scotland in the Mondeo. It was, it was a decent trip, uh, not much uh, traffic, um, I think there was a part of it, I don't know if you spotted it, there was a part where a truck shred its load all over the motorway and uh, we had to slow down, um, so yeah that was a pretty decent journey, like, we've got relatives up in Scotland so yeah we went to go and visit them, uh, and then fast forward uh, a month or two, yeah two months, July, 11th of July 2019, I uploaded a video saying we're going back to Santa Pod again. Uh, yeah, like in, in 2018 we went, in 2019 we've been, we're going again. Uh, I, uh, I guess, again, decent journey. Uh, it took about, what was it, five, four, four and a half hours, five hours, something like that. Um, uh, alright, let's keep going. Uh, I sort of announced the death of the 2007 Vauxhall Zafira on the 14th of August 2019. Uh, if you can remember, like, I think it was like April 2018, I made a live stream of trying to get that Zafira started. Replacing the battery, putting some diesel in it, what have you. If you remember that, then well done you. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, basically we got rid of that car. And then the final video of 2019, which was uploaded uh, on the 31st of December 2019 was starting my old 300 CE coupe 
uh, and fixing the S class after doing the Z Coop was sitting for about two years before it got started in that video. And I tell you what, it was very impressive to see it start after all that time. Uh, right, so that's all of 2019 covered. Uh, I didn't actually think I did much in 2019, but actually, I've done 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 things, 13 videos uploaded in 2019, which for me isn't too bad, but 2020, I think there was a bit of an increase. Let's see. Oh, uh, it was about the same. Anyway, so let's move on to 2020. The first video I uploaded in 2020 was actually on the 18th of May. I know. To go from the 31st of December 2019 to the 28th of May 2020. No, sorry, 18th of May. The, that's a bit of t that's a bit of a, a long time. Anyway, yeah, so. The 18th of May 2020, I uploaded a video which was every, which everyone had been waiting for. Project Other Class Season 2, Episode 1. Which I basically explained what was going to happen to the S Class. Because, as you know, by that point, the S Class had been off the road for almost two years. It needed a, quite a bit of work doing to it. Um, so, yeah, I, I told you about that. And then, uh, about a week later, about a week and a bit later... I uploaded a video, replaced the battery on the S Class, then we took it down to the garage and fitted new brake discs. And like I said in that video, the reason I didn't change the pads is because not long before it was took off the road, the pads has already been changed. And I'll tell you what, that was a palaver to change the pads on that S Class. Uh, and then finally, in that video, we did the Service B. Which said, I think it said it had been exceeded by 180 something days. In fact, I don't could look that up. Oh, I'll, if I, if it, I'll put it in the corner of this video, what the exact time it said it was on the dash. Uh, like I say, there yeah, that video was uploaded on the 27th of May, 2020. Then we had episode three of Project Dollar Class, which was uploaded on the 3rd of June, 2020. It was replacing the upper control arm. Uh, the only issue we had with that upper control arm was uh, On that upper control arm, there's a little arm that moves up and down Which corresponds to the adjustments to the suspension and the headlights And uh, mainly, it was the suspension that went Oh, uh, mental What happened was, the car was like leaning to one side And it's done this before, but one time we did the uh, the other upper control arm on this car and the same thing happened it was leaning the other way uh so yeah we had to let the car back up in the air put the little thing back in properly and actually then the car started to settle itself and everything went okay anyway back to it uh on the 9th of june 2020 i uploaded a video on replacing the track control arm on the s class that's project other class is it season, is it episode three or episode four? Uh, it was episode four. Yeah, episode four on that. Um, move that. Yeah, episode four. Then uh, we had to interrupt it there because uh, we had to do something. Um, we had to get rid of the Mondeo, basically. Otherwise, if we didn't get rid of that Mondeo, I wouldn't be sat in this. So yeah, on the 10th of July, I uploaded the video where basically I cleaned up the Mondeo, and then it went. So yeah. Then, after that video, on the 31st of July 2020, I uploaded a brief update on the S-Class. I think at that point, we had the traction control arm done. The, um, yeah, we had the traction control arm done. Most of the suspension work done. It had the, uh, basically, there's an arm that goes underneath the suspension strut that was knocking. That had to be replaced. But obviously, we weren't capable of doing that. So, you have to have it sent away to do that. It had the paint work done. It had, uh, we were still, at that point, we're waiting on aircon parts. Uh, the satellite navigation, we were waiting for parts on that. Uh, I didn't actually make a video on me fixing the satellite navigation, but I'll explain to you what I did. Uh, in a minute. Uh, what else? What else? I think uh, I think that was 
it at that point and then but our couple, um, on the 11th of September I uploaded the next sequel to Project Dollar Glass episode 6 uh, which was refitting the original instrument cluster in the car basically what happened was if you remember I uploaded a video in 2018 saying Project Dollar Class had broken again basically what would happen was the instrument cluster just went black uh, it wouldn't light up I couldn't because the steering wheel control operated through the uh, instrument cluster, I couldn't like use the menus in the in, like trip computer. I couldn't operate the command. I couldn't use the satellite navigation. So basically, what happened was uh, we had it sent away, and we were told it was a transponder thing inside the instrument cluster that went bad. So they had to change that out. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, that was that was a pretty good fix. And it was quite cheap as well. The cheapest in the country. Uh yeah, what happened next? So then we move on to um the this is what day what was the twentieth of November twenty twenty, which was when I introduced this, my two thousand and two Mercedes ML five hundred as the Mondeo's replacement. Yeah, I know it was a couple of months after I said goodbye to the Mondeo. And we got this car in July. But I just thought I should get to know the car first before I end up making a video on it so like, I know all the features and how everything works. So, yeah. Like I say, I know everything about the car. Like, the engine, the, the transmission and everything. So, yeah. That's that one. And then, but we're at the end now, we are at the... The 6th of December 2020, I did the Lancashire Drive-By Car Meet. Uh, and that video was uploaded on the, I think it was the 15th of December, I didn't actually put that down on here. The 15th of December 2020. And basically, yeah, as you saw in that video, uh, there was a Drive-By Car Meet hosted. And we haven't been to one this year, so we thought, why not? So we took the S-Class down there. And uh, yeah, it looked pretty good. There was a there was actually a live stream that was done. I actually linked that in the video description. Well, look at that. If you go to nine minutes and fifty five, my S class makes an appearance. And I think it's at eleven thirty three. It makes another appearance, flying past, which I think was pretty awesome. Yeah. And uh, another thing I wanted to just say about that video, uh, as you see at the end of the video, I mentioned. Uh, I was going to link another video in the description of that video and if you go in the description it said it's not been uploaded yet and there's another part of that which hasn't been uploaded yet well I'll tell you what's going on there I have been informed that the video that that video for the car meet will be going live in the new year not being given a specific date but it says the new year so yeah so hopefully when I get that link in that video I will post it on Instagram or something and let you know so then you can have a look at it. I think it'll be pretty cool. Uh, right. Another thing I want to mention is Project Dollar Class. Uh, basically, if you, uh, as I saw on here, uh, episode 6 was where we've stopped at. We should be getting episode 7, which what we should be doing is doing all the Aircon stuff. Fixing the... Um, a uh, cob pipe, fitting a new condenser and everything. Problem with that is, it's winter, it's cold and horrible. So, we don't really want to be fixing aircons in the really cold weather. And anyway, what's the point at this moment in time you don't even need it? Uh, so yeah, uh, another thing I'm going to mention, I've got two reveals coming. Uh, I've got a car and something a little bit different for the channel, which you might find pretty interesting coming in 2021 um so yeah in fact if you look in the misted window don't you can say no you can't but it's behind this car it's behind the ml but anyway and another thing i want to mention something has finally gone wrong on this ml and i'm actually going to make a video straight after this where i explain what's happened to the ml and uh, it's it's not very good really but wait until that video to find out but in the meantime 2019 and 2020 have been have been 
I active actually, I was pretty surprised about the activity I've had in 2019 and 2020, um, I didn't think I had much activity in that either but since the S-Class came back on the road, it was kind of picked up a little bit so yeah, that's, uh, I think that's really the end of this video um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did, leave a like, subscribe and here's to 2021 Hope it's better than this year.